So today I am finally trying the Jacqueline Cosmetics line. Actually, I have purchased these for quite a long time, like since from the last Halloween, I believe. And what I have here is one of their stick blush, uh, the cream to powder blush stick in the shade Soon. I believe this is in Ali Glein's yearly favorite for 2021. So I am very excited that I already have this. Um, so they had a 50% off on Morphe's side. So I took the opportunity to, you know, try out her line because her line was as well 50% off. I also have two of the lip liners and three of the liquid lipstick and also of course this um, Rouge Romance um, blush palette which I think this is the cooler tone one and I feel like if I am not wrong this is also in the Ali Klein's yearly favorite video I think I, I think it's in there um, or it's just uh, in one of her regular favorites videos. She, talk, uh, she talks about this palette a lot and that is why I wanted to try this from the first place. Just from the packaging, I don't think this is worth 50, uh, 40 something dollars. NARS blush palettes are at that same press tag, I feel like. NARS packaging is way better than this, but this is not saying the package is like bad or anything. It's just, you know, not super luxury. It's just like um, good quality cardboard. Um, and if you open it, it is like a, quite a reflective. It's actually reminding me of the Lime Crime eyeshadow palettes. Their palette have this like same finish in there. Product in there is 28.8 grams. So there's quite a bit of product in here. So for today's plan, I am gonna use this at first. I didn't powder this area where I will use the cream blush. And then I will layer. I am thinking this color because this is the most, you know, interesting color to me. And then I will try all of the lip colors on the lip. So let's first put this thing on. And when it arrived, it actually kind of broke a little bit. I think this part is a little too high. It touched the inner side of the lid. As you can see, there's a stain of the product inside of here, but it's not a big problem at all. Like you can see, it's very smooth. There's no tugging when I am swiping it on the skin and it's super pigmented. And if you blend it, you will feel like it's more of a silicone powdery kind of finish. So which so it's really like the name said, cream to powder. So I am gonna apply this with a sponge, I think. This is also from Morphe and I just you I just use this to apply my foundation and it's actually a really good sponge. It's super big, super soft, and the pores, if that makes sense, on the sponge is very, very small, very fine, so it doesn't absorb a lot of product, but it's actually also applying the makeup very evenly, so I actually really like this. If I ever have another chance to get the sponge for like 50% off, I will definitely get more. don't want to apply too much so just gonna be careful but it doesn't seem to have a lot of payoff maybe it's because I am applying with the sponge oh I see the color now 
it's a very spring kind of color and this is the color that I really like. It's kind of remind me of the blush that I like a lot from LYS Beauty. The matte something cream blush in the shade I don't remember. I will do a swatch comparison with that later. And it's more of a matte finish, I want to say. It's not a very like glowy blush, but it blends very pretty. And this glowiness is probably from applying with the sponge and you know, not setting this part of my foundation. But that is a pretty blush. I don't remember how much I got this stick. I, it's, it's also 50%. I think it's around uh, 15 to $20, which is actually a good deal because I really like the formula and the color. Let's layer some of this on top. I am very into this kind of cool tone pink recently. Maybe layering on this color is a little bit weird choice, but I think it will add a little bit more freshness. Hmm, nice. I really like to do like purpley kind of lavender kind of eye look recently, which this blush palette could be very handy. That is a lot of blush, <laughs> but I kind of like it. Yeah, really, really nice. Actually, the formula is pretty nice as well. I'm still, I'm not sure if this is worth, you know, 40 something dollars for its original price but for on the 20 something dollars mark I think this is worth it and so let's do the swatch comparison so this is the blush I am talking about it's the LYS Beauty High Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Kindness and in the pen, it looks a lot pinker. Well, yeah, it's much pinkier. And this is a more like neon kind of orange. But I do feel like when you blend it out, like if you just see this blending out part, it's actually quite close. So even though swatched very you know, strongly, it looks very different. On the face, it's really giving a very similar vibe. And I think if this is not discounted, this is like more expensive than this one. So maybe this one is a better deal. How much product is in here? So this has seven grams and this is 6.5 grams. So not, not a big difference. Okay, that's that. Definitely a good find. And I am putting it into my everyday drawer. Okay, let's swatch this big one. They are pretty loosely pressed, but not like too loose that it is uh, powder flying everywhere. It's just loose in a way that it's very easy to get the product on your finger or on your brush. The second row. This color is so pretty. Applied very sheerly, I think it could be another very pretty cool tone blush. Maybe I'll try that another day. The shade swatch, they are all pretty similar and in the same family. But I do think these are very pretty, cool-toned, pinky colors. Nowadays, there's not so many of uh, like pinky blush. The peachy warm blush really like take over the whole market. So 
yeah, I do think this is a good addition to my collection. Let's swatch the lip product. Let's first try these lip liners. I got two shades. One is caramel latte, one is bourbon. Bourbon. This is a caramel latte. It's a very typical wooden pencil. Let's swatch it. It's a like a mauvey brown kind of color. This are actually very good formulas. It's so smooth on your lip and it applies a very thin layer, which I really like. Because a lot of lip liner it applies such a thick layer. It even feels thicker than uh, like lipstick or anything, but this is not. And you can see the tip. Even though I went all over my lip, this tip is still kind of pointed, where a lot of like apply very apply in a very thick layer kind of lip liner would be like totally just flattened with that one um, application. Very nice formula. I really like this. I remember somebody said these are the same formula with the ColourPop lip liner, but for me it's not. For me, ColourPop is the formula that they apply in a very thick layer, but these are not at all. And I, I feel like it sets as well. It's not like just creamy, just like a bullet lipstick into a like lip liner form. It actually sets like like a lip liner. Oh, very, very good formula. The color is not the right shade for this look at all, but I do think it's a good taupey kind of brown, like a cool toned but a deeper brown. I think this is in the same family as the iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury, but this is just more brown and darker. Maybe I will do a swatch comparison. Okay, the other shade, Bourbon, I believe. Yeah. This, I think, is a pinkier shade. Well, not much <laughs> different on, this, on my hand. Mm, very creamy as well. I believe these are originally like $18 and I bought them in like $9, I believe, which is not bad at all for the like formula. This is, I feel like this is really close to the last one, but just a touch deeper. But it's also a very good color. But again, it's just not the color for this makeup. Let me took this off and try the liquid lipstick. So I got three shades. Be Brief, I'm a Cancer, and Feisty. I picked the shades by watching Eileen Glein's uh, review video of these. I think she has a much more fair skin tone than me, so these two shades are gonna be a little bit too light on my skin tone when I see this in person. Like in her video, this looks pretty much like a deeper nude, but it's gonna be a very light nude. But let's let's try it first. This pinky shade is Be Aware. It's a pinky mauvey kind of shade. And you can see how light it is. And I think this color will make my teeth look yellow. Smells like that typical liquid lipstick scent, like the vanilla scent. I mean, not too bad. Again, not for a look like this. But maybe like a smoky, cool tone smoky eye or something. This can, this can work. It's not too pale. I think a blend all over my lid is becoming a little bit like melted with my skin tone. It dried down very quickly. 
and not much transfer at all and I don't think it's fully dried because I just applied it and this formula is very close to the Ofra Ofra liquid lipstick that a lot of people like when they first launch I really think from the smell to the texture like how it applies like the whole like formula is very very close to that okay let's try the shade Emma Cancer I feel like this shade will blend into my skin tone again not for this look but it might work when I am doing a um, warm smoky eye kind of thing it's kind of making my teeth look yellow I just applied it and it only has like this little of transfer so that's pretty nice if I like let them dry fully they probably gonna be like transfer proof and it's not drying and oh I forgot to swatch this I'm a cancer shade probably cannot tell that much from the camera but this one is much more um, orangey and like brown the festy shade could be the more like better shade for me yeah this one is much darker the application is horrendous but you get the idea of the shade this is quite a, a vampy shade I think this shade uh, mixed with I'm a cancer could be a nice shade for me but I I think this shade actually works nicer with this whole look and also matches my shirt <laughs> okay let's do the shade comparison with the the caramel latte shade so this is my iconic nude lip liner let's swatch in between of these two shades it's actually pretty close to the first shade I tried which is caramel latte I really liked everything yeah I think I like everything especially for the price I got them I think these are I don't remember how much these are maybe like around $20 like 22 or 24 they are not like too expensive they are just like a typical liquid lipstick kind of price so for getting them around like $10 and lip liner for like 9 and this for like 23 or something dollars is a very good deal in my opinion lip liners they like I said they apply very thinly and they set down and the shade is actually pretty nice this two shade I got and the lipstick if you have tried the Ofra li liquid lipstick these are pretty much like that but I think this are this has more of that setting power than that so if you don't like like drying liquid lipstick you probably won't like this but my lips are not that dry right now but it's like I feel like it's like a little bit dry so not unbearable dryness for me and the sponge is surprisingly very nice I heard from somebody said that these actually will how to say like bleed <laughs> like when you um, wash them they will like there will be some like reddish dye came out of this but just from the first time I am rinsing this that's not happening and if it ever happened I will update on that and the the blush blush stick and this blush palette they are all very nice formula especially for the half like half off price I am very impressed I don't I don't know if these are really worth the full price but yeah like I said for the deal I got I think they are well worth the money I spent and I actually really like them so thank you for watching
बाय